Welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann, and in this tutorial, we want to demystify the new simulation nodes in Blender 3.6. The result will be an asset you can drag over any mesh, and once you start the animation, you will get a nice particle system. It's adjustable, and it already renders nicely in cycles. The file here is available for Patreon subscribers already, if you cannot wait. And if you can wait, this will be a multi-part series that will explain the creation of this kind of node-based particle system in detail. So stay tuned for part one. Simulation nodes are part of geometry nodes. That's why in Blender 3.6, I go directly to geometry nodes and I will add a new node tree which I will call simulation nodes. But before we do any actual simulation, let me first uh, show you why you might want to want uh, to have simulations in the first place. And for that, let me add a distribute points on faces node. So distribute points on faces. Let me connect this here. And you see this creates a set of points on the faces. And if I change the seed, the points change. But you see here, they stay fixed. And now what I want to do is I want to add a node that allows me to change them for every frame. Shift A, search scene time. And I connect frame to the seed. Now, if I play back the animation, you see I get a new distribution for every frame. But they are not staying. It's like the particles are dying at the very moment they are born. And that is because um, this, what we have here is a normal geometry node setup. And uh, for geometry nodes, no matter where we are in time at which frame, the result is always defined. So uh, it's independent of what happened before. And that means also that uh, the points will not stay. And now if you want to, the points to accumulate, over time, what can you do? Well, you might uh, it might you might work out with some fancy math, but nowadays we also have something different, and that is the simulation area. Simulation, simulation. So I'm sorry, the simulation zone. Now, let me move the distribute points and faces node up into the simulation zone. For that, I click on it, then node. Detach links, and now I can move it up and connect it here. And I will also connect the frame to the seat. And for now, nothing should be happening because what we are missing is first the simulation output has, of course, to be connected to our actual output. And you see everything is gone. And that is because we are missing the input for the very first frame. So if I connect this to geometry, and go to frame one, this should work. And it works because for the first frame, the original input is used for the simulation input. It's distributing the points and now comes the key. The points are now going out of the simulation output and they're not just going into the group output, they're also going round and back in. And in the next frame, that would be frame two, see what's happened. We got now got this um, exclamation mark and it reads, input geometry has unsupported type point cloud. And that is because the points went out, they're going back in, it's no longer the original input, it's points only. And this node, of course, it's not working on points. But let's quickly create a hack to fix this by adding a join geometry node Shift A, search, join geometry. And now let's join this with the original geometry here because that includes the cube. And I call this a hack, it works. If I now play back the uh, animation, you see the points are accumulating, but I'm calling this a hack because for every frame now, the uh, this node has to check 22,000 points and eight of them are uh, points of the original cube 
from where uh, we have faces and everything, and everything else it has to discard. So that is of course uh, not uh, very performant, but it's a hack to show you how the um, simulation nodes are working internally. So what can I do to get this uh, to get this problem to get away with this problem? Well, let's disconnect the um, input here and now this distribute points and faces is outside of my simulation zone. And what I can do here is I can now connect the original geometry here and disconnect it here. And instead add a second join geometry node here. And let's join the result also with the original geometry. And now let's go back to frame zero. And now it's it's looking exactly the same, but it's working very quicker because now the distribute points and faces node is outside of the simulation zone. That means here we have to compute a bit less. And that is already something that's pretty cool because that means we have a very simple simulation zone here and the rest is happening outside. And that's already something which, with which we can work because Let's consider the following. Why not give those points we are creating a little much in every whenever a new frame is coming up? And for that, we have the following node: set position, set position. Let's connect this here, and you see the set position will be part of the simulation. And now here, if I change the offset, for example, uh, z zero dot one, and maybe y0.02 or something like that. If I play back the animation and I always have to play back from frame one, I think you see where this is going. And before we continue and make this look super cool, cool and adding more controls, one thing to note and that is the part here, you see down here, this strip, that is the so-called cache. If I click here anywhere, you see it goes um, to the, um, you see it's it's like it's uh, defined. So um, it always changes. Now, if I do this outside of this area, like so, you see it's not really changing. It just changed like uh, it added one frame. And this is uh, the so-called cache. So what we have here is already computed simulation. And then outside here, we didn't compute the simulation, so it's not working. And if you want this cache to fill the entire uh, timeline, you can go to the physics tab, and here it reads simulation nodes, and here we can bake the cache. That would mean we save all this, but for that, in order to, uh, for the baking to work, we need to go to file and save, because we need to save our file first. And now, we can bake this and now all the, wherever we are in the timeline, we have a well-defined state and we have our first particle system. Next will be to make this look cool, to make this swirl around using a noise texture. 